गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर ऑनलाइन क्लास ओके एज इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड लर्न अबाउट द चैप्टर दैट इज इंसेक्ट कॉमन एनिमल्स कॉमन इंसेक्ट ओके इन दियर वी लर्न अबाउट द कॉमन इंसेक्ट एज वेल एज द बॉडी पार्ट ऑफ एन इंसेक्ट एंड ना एंड ऑल्सो द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ अ बटरफ्लाई ओके लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ अ बटरफ्लाई नाउ वील टॉक अबाउट सोशियल इंसेक्ट ओके सोशियल इंसेक्ट नाउ सोशियल इंसेक्ट मीन्स वॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ इट राइट सो सोशियल इंसेक्ट मीन्स वॉट सम इंसेक्ट दे आर इन ग्रुप्स ओके सम इंसेक्ट दे आर इन ग्रुप्स दे ऑलवेज गो हियर एंड दैट मीन्स वन प्लेस टू एन अदर ओके इन ग्रुप्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू सी हनी बी वेन दे आर गोइंग दे ऑल आर इन ग्रुप राइट You can talk about your second example will be your ant. When you see ant, are they in single? One is swimming here, one there, there, there. No, all they are in the groups. So these type of insects are known as social insect. Right, children? Let us read this. Okay. Some insects live together in groups or colonies. Right. They are called the social insect. Like bee, swap. and and termites are the social insects right we can see bees all in a group we can see wasp at a big uh, family of this uh, uh, ant only was okay then ant we know it we see every day uh, on the grounds also right then we can uh, talk about termites right they are the insects which eats the wood of our furniture right and also uh, they are known as the social insects clear children okay let us read again some insects they live together in the groups or colonies these are uh, they are called in uh, social insect right for example if i ask you about the example of a social insect you have to give the examples like this bees so, uh, wasp w s p s wasps then ant termites and social insects right now we'll talk about ant first of all we'll talk about ant ant can be found within and outside our houses right this is very true we can see ant inside our house also as well as outside our house also right is it is true or false it is absolutely true right we can see the ant inside our house also as well as outside our house also why inside our house how we can see ant means we are uh, seeing this ant inside our house carrying the food like where there is sugar they come to collect sugar or where there are eatable things eatable things they comes and collects them and go to their places so we see this ant inside also as well as outside our home house right children next we can talk about that as they prefer sweets breads and other cooked food right i have already said that uh, they are seen carrying the sugars from our homes right okay ants can be found within and outside our homes as they prefer sweets bread and other cooked foods for their food right they use all these kinds of all different different types of food items for their food which they store for their further purpose all right within the house ants are generally found behind the doors and windows frame they are not seen very easily they are hidden they are seen where they are generally found behind the door and the windows frames right <coughs> beneath the carpets beneath the carpet uh, we uh, put the carpets on the floor they are seen under the floor that under the carpets right uh, beneath the carpets under appliances appliances means all those uh, things materials right or in a tiny crevices in the corners walls and floors of our apartment they are seen where in the very small small gaps are there in the walls and all they are present there they are seen there right children outdoors ants colonies are generally located in a uh, flower pots on open grounds and sometimes even in the damp wood 
such as tree trunk or in the wall crevices crevices means what wall uh, where we find some holes okay wall holes right children <coughs> okay uh, outdoor and colonies are generally located in flower pots flower pots means what they are always seen in the flower pots all right uh, then on the open grounds these they are sometimes even in the damp wood damp wood means what all those waste wood which are kept no we can see this ants in a colony means in a very group in a large group why because they uh, feel themselves as safe in that damp wood okay they make their homes there they stay there as it is very safe for them damp wood means what all that waste wood which are unable to be used by the human beings or any other thing okay they are safe there which uh, the others will not be using those so they are safe so they are staying there right children next we'll talk about uh wall crevices wall crevices means all this is small small holes or uh, uh, empty spaces on the walls where uh, we do not uh, use those parts those areas regularly so they can uh, make place of their safety there right okay ant colonies are generally made of several several tunnels ant colony ant colony means what you know they are uh, we see no ant when you see ants walking you see they are uh, walking and they are connecting they are, they are communicating themselves right we see when we see the ants walking in a path some are coming some are going when they are coming they every time meet each other contract interact with them they communicate with them they talk with them and then they go forward and backward right children okay ant colonies are generally made of several tunnels and chambers where they keep their eggs food and the young ones like we have homes no these ants also have their homes which is known as colonies okay and uh, these are made or uh, these are found with the several tunnels and chambers where they keep their eggs babies baby eggs okay then uh, they keep their food as well as the young ones babies right they make ant hill with the soil ant hill means what like the mountains we see you know and when we uh, break them or uh, when we uh, destroy them we can see the number and number of ants coming out from that uh, hill that is known as ant hill they are made with the help of soil right okay they make ant hill with the soil sand and may even use tiny sticks too now to make this ant hill they may use soil they may use the sand and even may use what tiny sticks to make their colony ant hill where they are safely staying keeping the storing their uh, eggs their uh, food as well as their young ones means their babies right children and ant colony may consist of many ant ant colony means what they are the different different kinds of ant which are staying together right so and ant colony may consist of many ants so many ants will be there ant vary in size some are very big some are very small some are uh, we can see you know that king king of the ant and queen of the ant as well as the mantris and all they are little bigger in size as compared to the normal size right children okay there are three kinds of ants in a colony there are three kinds of ants in a colony the queen the female workers and the males the queen and only lay, the queen and only lays the egg there are three kinds of ant one is the queen second is the female ant and third one is the male these three are there okay the queen the female workers and the males the queen and only lays the egg all the ants they do not lay egg only the queens of the egg they lays the egg right children okay 
now we'll talk about honey bee honey bee right honey bee they can live in both natural as well as domestic environment natural domestic means what they can be seen uh, under the hunted houses like uh, those houses which are not used for uh, daily use right they can make their home place of their uh, this honey okay they can keep there as well as they can keep in the outside environment right they prefer living in the gardens and orchards where there are plenty of flowering plants as they suck the nectar from the flowers right these honey bee they prefer living where they prefer living in the gardens as well as the orchards okay where they can get the plenty of flowers and uh, trees where they can suck the nectar and make honey right children they prefer living in the gardens and orchards where there are plenty of flowering plants as they suck nectar from the flowers in a natural environment they build heaps inside tree cavity heaps means what that uh, we say na chhatta honey bee chhatta where the honey bees are making the honey where they storing the honey that is known as honey heap right children okay bee heap bee honey heap okay next we talk about uh, in a natural environment they build the heaps inside the tree cavities on the rocks or under the edges of object to hide themselves from the enemies as i have already said that, that they use those types of houses which are not in use by anyone for any purpose they are left useless they don't use that house or the area so they make their heap and keep themselves safe and keep themselves safe there right next we talk about the humans okay humans also keep them in the farms to obtain honey human beings also uses this honey honey bee or we can talk about only the bee in the farms like we have the poultry farms you know poultry farm dairy farm in the same way we have this honey bee farming that is apiculture apiculture the farming of the uh, rearing or the farming of bees are known as the apiculture right children humans also keep them in the farms to obtain honey and wax from the bee heap right honey and the wax from the bee heap this is called bee keeping or apiculture this is called what bee keeping or apiculture right now when we talk about apiculture what comes in our mind rearing of bees or farming of bees is known as api right now okay honey bee let us uh, revise what we have learned today okay uh, we have learned about the social insect social insect is what all those insects which are in groups which are seen or which are found in groups like example we can talk about the bee webs and termites they are all the social insect now social insect means what some insects they live together in the groups or the colonies they are known as the they are called as the social insect social insect means what those animals which are seen or which are found in the groups they are known as the social insect example we can say about the bees about the ant about the webs about the termites right <coughs> next we talked about what ants ants are found where inside the house also as well as outside the house also now they are seen inside the house because they prefer what sweets breads and all the cooked food which are found only inside the house right then they are seen the where they are usually found on the doors and windows frame right they are found usually on the doors and windows frame then they are found beneath the carpets under the appliances or the tiny crevices means tiny uh, holes in the corners leftovers in the corners okay and outside the ants are always generally located in the flower pots 
were in the open grounds and sometimes even in the damp pool where they feel very where they feel very safe here right and colonies they are uh, generally made of what several tunnels and chambers where they keep their eggs food as well as their young ones right and there are three different kinds or types of animal uh, ants okay there are three different types or kinds of ant they are number one queen number two your female workers and number three are the males only the queens they lay the eggs and they give birth to the young ones okay they lay egg and the babies are born we talk about honey bee honey bee they live in both the natural as well as the domestic environments they prefer living where near the gardens or near the orchards where they can get the plenty of flowers in order to suck the nectar and make the honey right okay humans also keep them in the farms to obtain the honey and wax from the bee hives and this process is known as bee keeping or apiculture bee keeping or apiculture both the meaning is same that means what rearing or farming of the bee okay in order to receive in order to get honey and wax is known as bee keeping or apiculture right so in the next class we will be talking about some harmful in, uh, insects okay next part we'll talk about the some harmful insects as well as remedies for insect by remedy what all the precautions to be taken when we are bitten by the insects right thank you